Hi viewers, back again as promised with this Samsung DVD player. Come on, focus. There we go. So it's just a standard DVD player. And right from the get go, I can see a gold plated strip. Don't know how good it's going to be, but I'll get that off anyway and see. And uh, so I'm going to pull this apart and uh, show you what's inside. Hopefully, there's some gold recovery. Right. Well, this is already looking a lot better than the Blu-ray player. Uh, so there's some silver capacitors. I think there's capacitors. I don't know what they are. Diodes, something. Some copper coil. Copper coil. There's a fuse there with silver in it. Another one of these black diodes and some more here. Um, Three-legged transistor. Transistor, transistor. A brown thing there. Don't know what's in that. I'll have to break that up and have a look. Some more three-legged transistors. Another diode. Another diode. Transformer. Copper inside. Aluminium heat sink, it's a nice extruded aluminium one. These little brown things, I don't know what's in theirs, but I've got a collection happening. They're always small, I never ever see a big one. These orange ones, I believe, have some sort of precious metal. So that's the power side of it. And of course we've got the cord with the plugs on the end of it. So I chop these off with the ply, um, wire cutters, put them in my brass bucket, cut the plug off, strip the wire. Another aluminium heat sink. Then we got the DVD drive. Now look at this side, some decent ICs. Tactical switches across the front for silver. I don't know, I do, there wouldn't be any gold in those plugs there, I doubt very much. These ones here, uh, doesn't look like it, no, no gold on that one, no gold on that one, no gold on that one, I sees, I sees, I sees, lots of I sees, silver, Capacitor. I think that's a silver capacitor, I'm sure it is. Lots of aluminium capacitors, they're no good. If you use a heat gun like I do to depopulate the board, make sure you take these off because they explode. Alright, so I'll pull this more apart and I'll see what's on the other side of this board. And hopefully there's some gold laser diodes inside the CD drive. It is not I got the board undone and on the back of this one is an IC there and an IC there and one in the corner and we've also got a nice copper plate along the front there. I'll be using that to cement alarm silver for sure and then on this board here there's nothing on the back, but that's okay, they make up for it with nice ones on the front. So now I'm going to pull the DVD drive apart and see what's in that. So first I've got a CD here which I can get silver from. I've already got the proper copy of Fast and Furious 4, so I don't need to keep it for that. So that'll get silver off. The rest of this is no good except there's an element, uh, electric motor here. So I'll be getting that out. It's only small, but they all add up. And then there's the main internal part here, which I'm about to pull apart and see what's in there. Okay, so I've got into the main DVD drive, and that is the largest gold laser diode I've ever seen that is a beauty 
All the other ones turned out to not be gold, but they made up for it for sure. Look at that. And this whole casing that I'm holding is all zinc, which I am struggling to get enough zinc. I cannot get enough no matter how much I try. So that's a very welcome addition to my little pile I have. But that gold diode, wow. That's crazy. So, that's everything I've showed you. I don't understand how a DVD player can have better components than a Blu-ray. I would have thought it would be the other way around. But, there you have it. Uh, before I go, someone asked me many times over to put subtitles on and I keep forgetting to bring it up in the videos. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I, I, when, I'm, when I'm editing the film, I look where it says subtitles and I turn it on. That is all I know. So could people please let me know if the subtitles are working? They won't be in this video or the last one because it was recorded and sent from my phone. But the normal ones, where I've worked, done it from my desktop, and you'll know by the intro and everything. If the if the subtitles work, please let me know, so I can maybe ask someone else how to do it. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I'm going to enjoy trying to get that gold out now, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.